Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm here to talk to you about something very, very exciting namely my PO box. Sometimes I wish I lived in a forest so I had no background sounds. Anyway, most of you will have probably heard me say it in a different video before but I have been very, very excited about getting a PO box. At first my idea was to get the PO box when we would move uh, when we knew when we would move so that I could also ask my pen pals to send their letters there just to make sure that no mail got delivered to this address but I got a little bit impatient especially because the house hunt hasn't paid off yet we do not have a house we're looking at some really exciting houses but you know patience is a virtue so I got impatient and I started thinking about okay maybe I should get the PO box a little bit more soon if you watch my videos you may have noticed that about a month ago I got advertisements turned on and I know that advertisements maybe aren't enjoyable or you may even be a little bit annoyed and I'm sorry for that but, but I actually got the idea um, to fund my PO box with the advertisements and that actually worked out because I know that a lot of you actually think that you can make a lot of money on YouTube well let me tell you you can't um, so far I only spend a lot of money on YouTube but it has been so much fun and it's a hobby so I'm, it's totally worth it for me but I knew that if I would also have to pay um, my PO box every month it would get a little bit too expensive so I thought I would turn on advertisements because I make enough in a month to pay for the PO box and that is so rewarding so I pay I, I make enough for the PO box the PO box isn't expensive which also means I don't make that much money but hey um, I'm not here for the money I'm here because like when I started this I had no clue that I would ever go to 1600 subscribers I had no clue that I would ever get a PO box and I had no clue that this would still be so exciting to me a year later so once again I didn't start this for anything other than to share my biggest hobby but it is very cool that I now have a PO box okay I'm talking and I forget my tea I have my tea water here and I was actually thinking of doing something new because I have a lot of tea in my closet I'm not going to show you that but I also have this little tin little tin which is packed with teas and in here or all of the teas that I received from either swaps or Happy Mail or pen pal letters, um, all of them are in here. Ex uh, except I took out the ones that are like normal, like uh, green tea. I will take that out and put it in my normal stash. Obviously, I love green tea as well, but um, in here are only the special ones, like special flavors. And I also took out all the fruit teas because I say this a lot of times, but I do not like fruit teas. There are exceptions like lemon is fine. I don't know if lemon is a fruit, I think so. And pear is also fine. But for example, 100% strawberry tea really isn't my thing. So I took them out. I will give them to other people probably. But in here are all the teas that I think are exciting or delicious or that I think I will like. And what I was like, so far I've only been saving them, as you can see there's a bunch in here and I thought that instead of constantly saving them, I thought I must try and start drinking them so I'll just pick out one each time I make a video No, I'm going for this one and I got this tea from Seher in her Happy Meal package as you can see it still has a little um, flap on the top uh, that she used to attach the tea to the uh, tie flip and it's a lemon tea from Pickwick. So it's kind of a safe choice to begin with. But there are some really cool teas in here as well. I love any tea with like vanilla or cinnamon or caramel, I don't know. So I'm going to try this one first. Thank you, Sahara, for sending me this delicious tea. It looks really good. I wanted to talk to you guys about this PO box. I'm going to tell you the story of my PO box. I'm really, really hyperactive and I'm already saying so many words that have no actual value. So, let me take a deep breath, sniff my tea, 
Do you guys sniff your tea? I, I like sniffing my tea. This one smells really good. I actually never drink lemon tea, but I think I will like it. One of the rules from YouTube content creators, like one of the rules when you turn ads, AdSense advertisements on, is that you're not actually supposed to talk about it. I'm not allowed to tell you how much I make, for example. Like I said, that's not important, but I told you that. I told you that I'm really, really excited on it. But I, will, I also want to tell you about my visit to the, to the PO Box company because I was actually really nervous. Basically, it's like a storage box company, you know, where you can store, you can rent out storage boxes, you know. Um, and they also have PO boxes, but it's not, I don't know about you guys, leave me a comment down below, please. I really, really, really want to know what PO boxes are like in your country. Because in the Netherlands, or as far as I know, it's not really common to have a PO box. Like, um, the only PO boxes I would normally come across are companies that, for example, do not have a physical bu building. So, it's not really normal for people to have PO boxes. And I know that, by the way, have you seen my flowers? I quickly wanna, I got distracted because it smells so nice. <laughs> I finally picked up the courage to ask the guy uh, in the flower stall at the market to make me like a personalized bouquet because he also makes bouquets that you can just pick up and buy but I don't like when they have that much leaves in them I like it better when there's a lot of flowers look at this blue one, isn't that gorgeous? it just got distracted, I hope you like my flowers oh yeah, PO boxes are not that normal so you only have PO boxes when you have a company for example so for me to get a PO box is actually really special, at least to me. I don't know if you think I'm overreacting, but because um, when I when people when I started with this channel, sometimes I would get the question like, "Hey, do you have a PO box?" And I thought, well, "No, like, no, I don't have a PO box. I'm not like famous or anything." Because that's my association. If you have a PO box, you have to be famous or have your own company or something. And also some of these YouTubers that I follow, for example, Simply Creative Kira, who's a fellow Dutchie and makes snail mail videos as well, as well as creative videos, uh, and Brittany McCowan. Both of them are channels with a lot more followers than me. I think both of them are like closer to 10,000 instead of 1,600, but that's like, I know that um, they also started somewhere. They have PO boxes and that made sense to me, right? Because they're bigger channels and well, they're not famous, but they they made a name for themselves <laughs> and um, I don't know, that's why I think it's so cool that I now also have a PO box because for me, it's a real milestone. Um, like for me, it actually means something. It means that I've reached certain point in my life I feel so professional I don't know if I'm rambling but ah, I'm so excited and I cannot believe that well I don't know maybe you think that PO boxes are exclusive that's not true anyone can rent a PO box but no no one normally does and just the fact that I would need one now because there are people kind enough to want to send me something that's actually what's really exciting and at first I was really, really scared because I made my appointment around two weeks ago, I think. I think you can just make an appointment now for later in the day because they're not that busy. But I wanted to set an appointment so that I could sort of work towards that date. Also because of my anxiety and also just in terms of excitedness, you know. Just like with holidays, you want to have something to look forward to. Today, the 4th of September, because I wanted it to be in September because I told myself and everyone else that I would start it in September so I'm not, I wasn't going to do it earlier. That's just something for me that is important, I don't know why. But I was really nervous, especially, well, there's two reasons. First, I'm always a little bit scared when I don't know where I'm going the first time because I cycled there and I had actually been in the neighborhood before but still like not knowing where I'm going can be a little bit scary, like I will always look it up on Google Maps. Point number two, I was afraid of the small talk. I'm not normally one to fear the small talk and also the small talk. Now didn't really scare me, but I was afraid 
of what I had to say when the guy asked me what I wanted the PO box for. Because also when I emailed him, I told him, like the manager, I told him that we were, um, that I was looking to get a PO box um, for moving, like when I was moving house. And I didn't say anything about the YouTube channel because I was kind of afraid of what his reaction would be, I guess. And I didn't want to come off as pretentious or like I want to be taken seriously and when I say that like oh I have a YouTube channel I'm going to get a PO box I don't want him to think like well uh do you think you'll be getting any mail or something I was just really afraid of that question he did ask he said okay so um I need to fill out what do you what's the reason for getting the PO box and I was like I froze I said well uh I don't know and then I said okay um so I have a YouTube channel and um, I, I don't want, like, people send me mail and I don't want my own address to be public. He was like, oh, okay, so, um, yeah, how am I going to write that down? He said, oh, um, protecting personal information. I said, yeah, protecting my personal information. Oh, and I don't know why, but that scared me so much. And then he was like, okay, so, okay, a YouTube channel. Then the small talk started. A YouTube channel, so uh, what sort of videos do you make? And I said, well, I make creative videos. I make creative videos. And then I show how I make something creative. And then people want to send me mail to show me their creative stuff. And he was like, okay, well, that's cool, that's cool. And then he said, so what sort of things do you make? And I said, mail, just mail <laughs> and then he laughed he was like oh oh so uh, we will be receiving a lot of uh, pretty mail then and I said well yeah I really hope so and then oh, thank god the mood lightened a little bit he was actually really kind about it um, because they accept all the mail and then they will distribute it over the PO boxes so he will also get to see your creations um, the manager and then he was he was kind of he was really kind and I was afraid that he would think of me as like a vlogger or you know someone who tries to who hopes to make a living without actually doing something but he was actually like oh I like that you uh, show your creations online because one time I watched a vlog by someone and I got bored after three seconds and I said yeah well that's not what I do and um, obviously I share a lot about my life but well I feel like this channel is different from like influencers or anything. I really don't ident identify with influencers. So actually, long story short, the conversation turned quite pleasant. He was actually really nice. And then he started saying, yeah, I don't know, he was just making like random small talk. He said, so we will be receiving fan mail then. We will be receiving your fan mail. And I was like, well, I don't know if it's like fan mail exactly, but hopefully, um, you will be seeing something with my name on it because he said fan mail but I don't really I don't really connect with that term I don't see you the people who want to send me mail I don't see them as fans the people watching this video I don't see you as fans I just see you guys as like-minded people with the same hobby uh, looking for some inspiration and um, Oh, this is going to sound so cheesy and so fake, but I actually see you, I actually, I don't even know how to say it, but it feels like a community. And I don't want to sound cheesy, but it actually does, because so many of you uh, are here every video, or nearly every video, letting me know that you are actually here, leaving comments, sending me messages, and I appreciate that more than you will ever know. Like when I've been insecure and then someone says Vivian, don't worry, we like you anyway, we can get you. And I'm like, oh my god, you guys are so kind. So actually no, I don't get a PO box for the fan mail. I get PO box to get in touch with like-minded people. That's my story. I also got a an email address specifically for this channel it is the paper letter blog at gmail.com so if you ever want to share your thoughts with me and you do not have a youtube account mail away but just know that my po box is from now on always open if you're still here thank you so much uh, don't go anywhere yet because i'm going to explain 
everything about the P.O. Box very, very soon. And there will also be a giveaway. Shh! A hidden giveaway! So I could just start receiving mail today, or actually tomorrow, because there's mail has already been. That's crazy. I'm gonna tell my mom. I think she will. She might send me something. So I told you that I would also um, talk to you about the actual mail that I will be receiving. Mm. So the guy, like I already knew that I would be able to receive any mail. I think even like package, or I know also packages, because my mailbox slot, like the opening of my mailbox is. Like it's nor it's standard uh, Dutch size, so it would be like I think this this big or something. So it's it's bigger than most other countries, except maybe Germany. I don't know. But the slot itself will be already be quite big, so any size envelope should fit through it. Um, but they also have a key to open my mailbox, so if anything is bulkier than that, they can still put it in. The mailbox itself is I think this big. I don't think anyone is going to send me mail that big, but it's like this big and they can also uh, take packages behind the counter. So if I have mail that won't fit in the mailbox, they'll just put it behind the counter. And I do not, do not expect mail that big, but I think it's important to know. And the guy also told me that I can receive mail by any name. So I think what I will do is I will make my name the paper letter blog so that I can see the difference between swaps and pen pal letters and subscriber mail. So please, if you send me mail, uh, address it to the paper letter blog or Vivian from the paper letter blog or Vivian at the paper letter blog, something like that. And it should reach me just fine. So now I want to talk to you about what I'm going to do with the PO box mail. Uh, first thing I want to say is that do not fear for your privacy. Um, I will, like, if you, like, it might be best if you, oh, I cannot believe I'm talking about people who are going to send me mail, but if you decide to send me mail, uh, it might be best or easiest or whatever if you put your return address on there just in case it gets lost or it doesn't, they cannot find me or something. It might be best if you put your return address on there, but don't worry, I will always cover up your return address just in case I'm taking pictures or making videos or I will always cover them up so do not worry about that your address will not be out there just like I didn't want my address to be out there um, the same goes for your letters obviously uh, I might show I don't know a small part of the letter accidentally or on purpose because something looks really cute but just like with the what my pen pal sent me videos I will always try to cover up the letters as much as possible the letters because um, I personally do not like the idea of my my handwritten uh, note and my personal information that I put in the letter to be out in the open so I can imagine that you wouldn't want that either. I will not read out your letters. I will try to cover them up as much as possible. Maybe if you put in something funny or something, I might read it out, but don't worry, I'm not going to, um, you know, give out your secrets. If you want to talk to me about anxiety or something, that's all totally fine. No one else will read it, I promise. Not even my boyfriend is going to read the letters. If you write me, it's going to be for my eyes only. Um, that being said, I do want to um, introduce you, so maybe if I receive a mail, then I will say, oh, this letter is from Anna, from Germany or something, um, so I do want to introduce you, so don't forget to include your name. Also, if you do not want me to know your address, I won't do anything with your address, don't worry, it's going to stay with me. Um, but. If you don't want me to know your address, then maybe you write down on the envelope just your name and the country that you're from, so that I can properly introduce you. And it, well, I want to say one thing in between, and that is that it feels really weird for me to talk about mail that I will be receiving, because I'm still afraid that no one is going to send me mail. <laughs> Um, that makes me very nervous, but I know that some of you have said that you want to send me something, so I just have to have good faith. I also want to say something about 
my PR box because like I said I already told you the size of the mail I also want to tell you that I can receive 10 mails a month if I receive more than I have to pay extra but that's not that much I think it, I can receive 10 for 10 per month for free if I receive more than 10 I pay an extra 30 cents per piece so that's not that's like ah, that's peanuts I'm, I'm I would be happy to pay 30 cents for extra meal I don't know about you guys but I wouldn't mind at all I think that also counts for like postcards and stuff they didn't specify there's that then um next thing is actually really good and that is that I get a notification email every time I receive mail so that is good for me because it would be really awkward if I cycled all the way there and didn't find any mail in there so um, I'm going to get notification emails I don't know how often I will cycle to pick them up I don't think I don't think I'll be receiving that much mail so I don't have to go weekly maybe I'll make a monthly video or every two weeks or just whenever um, there is mail in the mailbox I guess I don't know exactly how this is going to go but I'll keep you updated yes one more thing I want to say is that if you are going to send me if you're kind enough to send me mail I will show it in the video if it's just a letter I will show the envelope um, because I asked you guys about this in a previous video and you said uh, you can also make a list of everyone that you received mail from but I do I don't know how I'm going to do it yet maybe just show the envelope and then say that there's a letter in there but I do want to let you know that it arrived of course I mean I'm so happy to be receiving mail in the first place I'm going to uh, thank every single one of you this video is already really long so but oh yes oh, I'm almost forgetting some of the most important parts um, so I will mention all of you all of you I don't even know if anyone's gonna send me mail but don't worry about knowing whether your mail received or not was received by me or not I will make sure everyone knows everyone the person who sends me mail will know that it has arrived if you don't follow me on Instagram yet go do that now and then you might uh, get a preview from your PO box openings so now about some of the other important things and that is what I will do with your mail obviously I already told you about covering up your address but there are also more things because I already discussed this in previous videos <sighs> because I have anxiety and this is not I'm not hiding behind my anxiety but I can get stressed when I have a lot of mail to reply to so that's why I was hesitant to get a PO box at first because I thought well I don't expect to receive that much mail but what if I get a lot of mail and I cannot reply to all of them and I would get stressed and I would feel bad so I talked with you guys a lot about this I discussed this with you guys and I got a lot of great feedback starting with the feedback that maybe I had to choose not to reply to everyone of course if I will get two letters a month then I will reply I will try my best to reply obviously but um, just to protect myself I thought who knows this channel might grow a lot over the coming months I hope so obviously but just to protect myself I am going to put some sort of a set amount of replies that I will make so my idea for this like I, I created this idea with you guys so thank you for helping me with that but my idea is to randomly pick a certain number of uh, randomly pick mails to reply to so it doesn't have to be the prettiest mail or it doesn't have to be the biggest bulkiest I will randomly pick um, mail to reply to and I think the the envelopes will have a slightly bigger chance than the postcards of course because if a postcard is also great I'm happy with anyone who takes the time to send me something but uh, I think if you actually made mail then obviously you deserve a slightly bigger chance to get something in return than a postcard I think depend I don't know I don't know but what I what my plan is I will quickly show you I bought this folder uh, at the action I already showed you that in my action shop log I'm so happy with it I love the colors and it's sturdy and it's pretty I bought this 
because look it has six compartments so it's already nearly full though because i received in here oops i'm showing my personal address no i cannot show this meal because there's addresses on both sides so these i received on my personal address because i didn't have the po box yet i have this one i cannot show you i have this one from tamara so i'm saving that and that's in slot number one in slot number two we have a little tiny card from she also has a youtube channel i hope i'm yes emma lou loves okay so this is from emma lou loves she sent me a nice little box that i show you in one of the bob and pen pals send me videos but obviously i cannot put the box in there so i'm just putting one card in there so i will know it's from emma and then this one has an envelope that was in mail that was graciously sent to me by Wendy, who also made me the, the most amazing bag. I'm also showing that in what the one in one of the videos. We have this amazing package. Be online either this week or next week. Another what my pen pals sent me videos. Um, these will not be in there. That's a different video, but this one will be in there. And it's a beautiful mail sent to me by Nikki. And it came all the way from Australia, so um, I'm already saving them. So, um, so I now have four meals in here already. And what I want to do, if I get two more meals, I'll put them in there. And then when I want to make a video, I will use, my idea was that I will use a random number generator. That random number generator will generate a random number. And then I will pick the meal, like one, two, three, four. let's say it's, it's meal number three. Then obviously meal number three will get the reply which in this case would be wendy so that's my idea i will number them and then when it's full i only have six slots i don't know if that's enough but when it's full i will start taking out taking them out um, in uh, order of which one came in first i want to do at least two a month depending on how much meal i get at least two i hope i get two meals in one um, and then if I get more, I might be inspired to also make more or one, maybe one month I'll do 10, maybe one month I'll do three. It'll be all um, depending on my inspiration, obviously, and that's my idea. So just know that if you send me mail, you will make me incredibly happy and I want to make as many of you happy as possible. I will always show it in a mail and I hope to reply to all of you as well. But obviously I have my limits, so I'm going to uh, pick mail randomly. So I hope that explains, I hope I said everything I wanted to say. I hope I didn't forget anything. I talked for so much, I'm now also, no, sunflower, I'm sorry. I also want to film the, um, the vintage stuff haul i'm very excited about so i need to talk for a little bit longer but then after that i don't know i don't know what i want to say i'm rambling i'm just really happy and so excited and i will put the PO box address in this video as well as in the description box down below i will also make an entry on my blog so you can always find it very easily i don't use the blog anyway so it's easy for you to find it there. Um, oh my god, I almost forgot. In this video, I also want to announce one more thing. And that is that I'm going to host a YouTube-only giveaway. So, um, I love Instagram, but I feel like YouTube, like you guys on YouTube are like my real community. Um, you're here, most of you are here all the time. I don't mean that in a negative way, but I mean you guys want to know how I am, what I've been up to, what I'm making, what I'm doing, and that just feels very special. So I want to do a YouTube only giveaway this time. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Leave a comment down below if you want to enter the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away some of the goodies that I showed you in my creative uh, supplies haul. Just going to do it leave a comment down below i'll pick out some really cute supplies for you i'll write you a cute note and i will contact you again so don't forget to watch my videos if you want to know who won the giveaway but leave a comment down below if you want to enter um and if you because if you're still here that means you're you're a true friend so leave a comment down below we have to make 
for something special, leave a comment down below. I knew something. Leave a comment down below telling me only the number, like your address number, like what house number you live on. How do you say that? Like, I live on number 100. So just leave a comment down below saying which number you live on and then I know you want to join the giveaway. And keep it a secret because it's YouTube only. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!